2000 still on the deduction. So now we're at 3,276. Is that right? 3,276, I think so. Let's say that he was, they were, he was older than 65. And so we're going to say, what was the date on that? 19, let's say 1958. So we're going to say, okay, what if he was born in 1958? So then we're going to say now you've got two of these check boxes uh, checked off. And so now the standard deduction is up to 24.5. Calculating that, that's just going to be the 22 d -d plus another one because both boxes are checked off. 24.5, bringing the taxable income to 75.5. 755 page number two is now at the 10,317. I'm just going to type that in 10317 and we still have the 2000 deduction there, I believe. Bringing us, let's just jump down to the bottom 3683. Give me the bottom line 3683. That's the line at the bottom. Okay, let's go to married folk. Married folk, let's bring them back up to married, marriable age. Where people might want to marry him unless he's rich and then he could get married at any time. We're going to say this is going to be uh, 2000, let's say 1978. And then we're going to say that, uh, did I, what did I have? The, I had the dependents that, well, let's remove the dependent this time. That'll make it easier. Delete the dependent. And then we're going to go back on over here and say that he's married filing joint and back to the forms so now we've got adam and jane taxman uh married filing joint so if we scroll down hundred thousand we'll just keep it at the hundred thousand keeping it even and then the standard deduction is at 27 7. so now we're going to go okay standard deduction is back to married 20 or just married we back we're not back to it, married the first time uh so that's 72 3. So 72.3, if we go to the second tab, we're at uh, the 8.239. So we're going to say that's the tax calculation, 8.239. We don't have any child, so let's get rid of Sam. Sam's not here, no more. And then, so we're at the bottom line, 3.761.